Hello and welcome everybody to Russian Fishing 4. I will take a short walk in this majestic forest and explain to you all what the plan is for today. Right now I am on one of the small islands situated on the huge Ladoga Archipelago, a lake which is even bigger and where we are going to troll different spots and try out which holes work best. The main goal of this video is to catch a trophy fish but I would be happy catching some big non-trophy ones also. This will be the choice of lures for today's fishing trip. According to the weather forecast for the upcoming days, they will work in my opinion. I might change their size while being out on the lake, but color and model will be the same. Oh, and before I forget, I'm using extra large hooks on all of them. We are targeting big fish, right? All three rods that I will be casting have the same setup. 36 kilo line, a bit damaged but it will do the work, and the 36 kilo fluoro leader. For an even bigger bite rate, you can always go lower on the leader size, but you are compromising the time of fighting a big fish or even risking breaking your line. So I would suggest to not go lower than 25 kilos. Also, don't forget to bring with yourself some kind of liquid to fulfill your energy in time. Okay, now I really got the hunger for fishing, so let's hop on the boat and start our adventure on Ladoga Archipelago. First spot of the day will be here at the 30 meter hole, pretty close to the island. And by the way, I love to swim around here. I told you pikes love it here. Oh, they even come in decent sizes. That smell is smaller than my lord. Here comes the first money fish. You got to love it when all rods are bending like this. Night fishing is usually calmer with the bite rate, but let's hope for the best. I will get back to shore now and we can analyze the fishing net for this first session. Alright, with a net full of 40 fish, the variety of species is decent with mostly pikes and topping second with some bladoga salmon. But overall the rest of the fish add up nicely also. Let's see how much money we made out of all. 500 silver is not bad at all. It's actually really good. I am happy how the first session on our spot was today. Now I'm going to head to my cabin and see you on the next day. Here we are. Day 2. 
heading to spot number two, freshly rested and decided to drink some tea for my comfort and energy, as we can see the weather is pretty cloudy, rainy and grey. The spot of choice for today is not far from the one we fished the first day, but I've chosen a way deeper one this time and we are going to troll this 37 meter straight line back and forth. Let's go! Everything is so grey, feels like I'm playing some black and white retro game. That moon after the sunset looks oddly satisfying. According to the starry sky, it turns out we are going to have a clear day tomorrow. You gotta hate merch. Well, I was expecting the Zender at night, but I'll take them. Let's head back and summarize today's net, but I got to say it didn't felt as good of a buy trade how it was from the first spot, we'll see. This small island is already covered in darkness. Okay, I can already see a slightly better buy trade of Xanders and Ladoga Salmon. And the net value is almost 300 silver. Compared to the first spot, it's not the best, but overall is acceptable. Another long day is awaiting upon us tomorrow, so I see you on the waters. Seems like it's full blown raining again, but that doesn't stop us from getting on the waters. This boat trip is the longest out of the spots and you'll see why in a second. Here we are almost on the bottom of the map. We will focus mostly fishing the 28 meter and 25 meter holes in circles. This spot has a depth more in between the first and second spots that we fished earlier. The night came upon us with some heavy rain, but seems like that didn't stop us from catching a nice variety of fish. Who can relate to me that early morning fishing is so relaxing? Leave a comment down below if you think otherwise. Uh. 
after this fish we are heading back to the fish market and see the total of the last day. I'm not gonna lie, smallest net of all, I don't have the best feeling about this day. Yes, still a variety of fish, 215 silver, it's so and so. Taking consideration that every spot I fish for plus minus one hour, these spots felt for me that have a good bite rate in general. Now, you can always have more luck on one or another. Cast your rods and let me know how it went for you. Tight lines, everybody. Hey, please don't forget to like and subscribe.